Greetings, everyone. How are you all doing today? Thank you so much for being here and welcome back to my channel. Here's your daily news report and fourth stimulus check update. There are multiple states that have decided to provide their residents with additional stimulus payments. These new stimulus payments could automatically be deposited into your bank accounts. The three winners of this week's $75 Amazon gift card giveaway are Tamara Goodrose, Donna Elms, and Nancy Guzman. Congratulations to all three of you. Remember everyone, next Friday, I will be giving away more Amazon gift cards. Please enter my giveaway by subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and also leaving a comment below. Thank you so much, everyone. Tempers are starting to flare on both sides of the aisle as bipartisan infrastructure talks drag on and on, and negotiators face the prospect of missing an informal self-imposed deadline of Monday for getting a deal done. There are some Democrats that are accusing Republicans of slow walking the negotiations and reopening negotiating items that were supposed to be solved. At the moment, Republicans say that Democrats are being unreasonable in some of their demands, such as their insistence on tens of billions of dollars in new funding for transit and broad authority for local governments and to decide how to spend the infrastructure funds. There is a bipartisan group of Senate negotiators who have been working hard with the White House for months to fill out a $1.2 trillion eight-year spending proposal that they say is on track to get it done this week. But great frustrations are starting to mount as a final deal eludes them. Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown had stated, they have not been serious about transit dollars. We have been offered to split the difference and they don't seem to want to do that. It's not we who are stalling. Senator Brown accused Republicans of drawing out the talks to derail President Biden's agenda, which Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says will move as a bipartisan infrastructure package and a budget reconciliation bill planned for this coming fall. To finance their big spending agenda, President Trump and members of his party in Congress have called for over $3 trillion new taxes. This group claims that these tax cuts are targeted solely to the very wealthy. However, deep down embedded in their tax hike proposal is a direct attack on family farms and resulting ruination of rural communities. If Democrats get their way, family farms would be decimated through the enactment of a second death tax that operates on top of the existing estate tax. This second death tax would subject the paper gains of business and investment assets to tax upon transfer to the next generation. At the same time, the current long-term capital gains rate would be nearly doubled. Now, as a result, decades of paper gains in farmland and other property could be subject to capital gains taxes. Chuck Schumer has also stated that he will set up the reconciliation process by scheduling a vote on the budget resolution after the bipartisan infrastructure bill passes the Senate. But many negotiators have not finished their work on their bipartisan framework. And this is holding the whole process up. Senator Brown said there is strong skepticism among Democrats about whether Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell will allow any major bipartisan infrastructure deal to pass the Senate, which would be a major win for President Biden. In a sign of wearing patience, Senate Republican Rob Portman, the lead Republican negotiator, suggested dropping the transit funding element from the deal altogether, something that would spark an angry backlash from Democrats. Rob Portman said, transit funding has not yet been resolved. That is important, but we can't resolve it then, then we could leave that out. I hope not. 
Democrats, frankly, are not being reasonable in the request right now. We had a very generous offer out there that provides a significant increase in funding over the next five years. According to California Governor Gavin Newsom's office, after months of limbo, roughly two thirds of California taxpayers can expect to receive a stimulus check from the state very soon. Newsom has signed the budget proposal for a $100 billion California comeback plan into law. These checks are part of an extension of the Golden State Stimulus Program, which originally distributed $3.8 billion to low-income residents in the form of one-time payments of $600. This second set of stimulus checks will provide a one-time payment of $600 to middle-class residents earning up to $75,000 annually, as well as a $500 check to qualifying residents with dependents. The California Franchise Tax Board, a state tax collection agency, anticipates payments from the second installment of Golden State Stimulus Checks. Anticipates payments from the second installment of Golden State Stimulus Checks will begin this coming September. The FTB has released a tool for residents to estimate their payment. The agency said, the stimulus payment is issued per tax return, not by household or residents. Two individuals in the same residence could receive a stimulus payment as long as they both qualify. The agency also announced that the checks will arrive either via mail or direct deposit. But typically, you will receive this payment using the refund option you have selected on your tax return. So if you received an advance refund through your tax service provider, or paid your tax preparation fees using your refund, you will receive your payment by check in the mail. Congress definitely needs to pass a fourth round of stimulus checks very soon. Among a pair of letters sent to President Biden, seven Democrats from the House Ways and Means Committee had expressed their great support for another round of stimulus checks, and it was signed by 26 Democrats, which had been pushing for the enactment of automatic stabilizers. They all believed that this would help lawmakers avoid negotiations tied to any future relief package, which allows for faster distribution. The proposed legislation includes unemployment as an automatic stabilizer, which would enable the current number of eligible jobless Americans to claim an automatic relief payment. When the unemployment rate eventually rises above that predetermined level, the relief would be automatically pulled back again. A fourth stimulus payment would provide millions of Americans with more financial assistance. And as things return back to normal, a fourth stimulus payment would provide millions of Americans with more financial assistance. So that's the end of the video, everyone. I hope you found this video helpful. And thank you so much to all of you who are watching this video. Remember that next Friday, I will be announcing more winners of my $75 Amazon gift card giveaway. Please enter the giveaway by subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and also leaving a comment below. Thank you so much everyone, and have a very blessed weekend.